Hey guys, what's up? This is Shirt Talking. Welcome back to my channel. So today, video is about promotion stock our universe, and we'll be talking about Team on Tower Rock Bucket. This event arrived uh, on the last update and can be very hard for some people. We cleared this event during our last live stream, but not everyone watched it. And there are a lot of people uh, saying that they're having some difficulty beating this stage. So I tried my whole day <laughs> to build a very easy strategy that can be replicated by most people. Only use it uh, free to play characters. You can see here, um, this is the squad I use it. These characters are available to everyone. Um, not counting for Flurry because Flurry is free, but only for those that play at the Christmas event. Monica is given to us. Genie is also given to us if you farm Garuda uh, Wings event. How we can be farmed? Flurry uh, was gotten from the Christmas event, and Sophia is given to everyone. Uh, I will try to explain all the things that I did to my character so you can um, see what I wanted to do. Now let's just give a look on the squad. We start with Monica. You can see that uh, she's using a maxed uh, Dex 3 weapon. It's not a Dex Plus, very easy to get. Uh, we have Genie using a STR Plus Hammer. This is from Chapter 7. And I have Aoi using a STR Plus weapon as well. And the last one is my Flurry. He's using a Chapter 7 a Hammer that has the Water Attribute. So this makes him a very better healer. This is important if you want to use him. Um, and the last one is Sophia. Sophia using the light hammer that we got in the start of the game by clearing her mission, so very easy, everyone has access to that. Now let's just talk about skills. Monica, Genie, and Nauret doesn't have any skill inherited, but Flurry and Sophia do have. So Flurry is getting his school splitter from his original S style that we also get it from free, and then we have uh, Sophia getting school splitter from Agatha. So very easy to get because Agatha is a name style. And as Flurry was given to us when we started the game. So now we need to talk about the skills that are awakened. I awakened Healing Light because it's important to awaken this, this healing spell. The first you should be awakening is the healing. And then uh, we have Bone Crusher, reduce it as well. This is not really important. But uh, School Splitter is. I have School Splitter Max Awakened. It uh, doesn't really cost anything that's uh, limited. And let's talk about the other characters I have. Flurry with same setup, he has a Water of Life Awakened and School Splitter as well. And now he has Sky Drive Awakened two times because it doesn't use any limited items and Spiding Strike Awakened once because he can only be awakened once. And let's see the other ones. I have Genie here uh, with Petra Delta Awakened, but I tried to use uh, um, Petra Delta on the first enemy, that one that brings confusion all the time, and he can be petrified. But he never got petrified with my attempts, I tried like 20 times and he was never petrified. If you want to try this out, I suggest you try to bring intelligence uh, to your genie with a hammer, with an earth elemental, and some equipments to increase intelligence. But even doing so, even using the formation that increases intelligence to increase the chance, it never happened. So this is why I forgot about this strategy and trying to bring a different one. So I awaken in the Hawk Splitter two times, because awakening two times also means that I do not need to use any limited items. And last one is Monica, one of the most important characters here. She has Megatrust awakening two times. So I'm not inheriting any other skills from my Christmas Monica, so this can stay as a free-to-play strategy. Uh, so for those who do not know, um, the most important thing here is to bring characters that will not be charmed by Rock Bucket. Because she will charm Mayo characters. And Flurry and Naoi are not considered Mayo. They are unknown. So having three females and two unknown, you guarantee that you will never be charmed by Rock Bucket. Re reducing the difficulty of this event by quite a lot. You do not need to bring these characters. You can bring any type of damage dealer instead of Genie. Uh, Aoi as well does not really need to be this one. You can also bring another female character. Flurry is here. Because he helps, you know, exactly just because he's a no. But bring a female squad here will be way easier than what I'm doing here. And I'm using Hunter's Gambit. I'm using Hunter's Gambit because Monica is my central damage dealer. But you could also be using a different one, you can also use Speculation. Speculation increases STR and Agility on the same time and can help you, even through the uh, Blunt can be resisted. And it's still okay to deal lots of damage here. Depends on the characters that you're using. If you are bringing Azami and Cat, they also work well here. Okay, so uh, let me just explain another thing. 
So now let's just talk about all the skills that I'll be using on this battle. I will try to use Mega Thrust to inflict lots of damage and try to kill the first enemy as soon as possible. Shock Rush is only used on Black so that we can paralyze him and he will not prove a threat. And let's see, uh, Genie will only be using Rock Splitter, sometimes Crushing Blow if I don't have anything available. And I only use Sky Drive most of the time, but sometimes Spinning Strike as well, depending on how many BP I have. The last two are the most important. Uh, they are healers, but at uh, the same time they are jammers. We have School Splitter that debuffs the enemy's intelligence. That's very important on the first and on the last fight. Most of the attacks from Rock Bookets are based on intelligence, so debuffing her intelligence will make you survive way more. And I still use War of Life, like always, because healing is <laughs> super important on this fight. And the last one with Sophia is just the same. She also has School Splitter. She will be using it even more than healing. And Healing Light always when I need. Uh, there's also a very important thing here is that sometimes you will prefer to debuff the intelligence instead of healing, even when some of your characters are dying. Because if they die, they have this special skill called Dare to Hope that they will heal the whole squad when they die. Cannot be by poison. If you die by poison, it won't trigger. But then uh, if one dies, the other will revive the, the one that died and they can keep refreshing that if needed. So now that I explained everything, you guys can watch the run on the middle of the screen. Uh, it was very intense, this fight. I got like three fights when I was close to win and I didn't. So please uh, subscribe if you haven't and enjoy the video.